Hey guys, Oz Grillis here. Today we're going to show you how to make your own sub badges and emotes. Before we get started, I'll just do a few things about me. I stream on Twitch. My link is here on the left. Also, the person we're going to be doing the video about today is Skullcrushers48, and that is his link there. So also, it would be good if you could hit him up with a follow as well. It would be much appreciated. All right, let's get into it. Alright, so we're just here on my live screen now, so we're going to just drop this out. What you need to do first is get this program called Paint.net. So what you need to do is just go into Google, type Paint.net download, and it is the first one. Yeah, so we just download that. Once that is done, and you have the image you want, so just open Paint.net. We're going to start by doing, we're going to do some Skull Crushers um, emotes. He has two free slots, so we're going to do them for him. All right, so we've got his logo here. All we're going to do to this, which is not much, we're going to get rid of this black bit here and the black underneath. We're just going to leave that bit. So what we're going to do is just go select here. We're just going to take this bit here. Just go copy, so control C. We'll go new. The specs for this copy will be here, so it's 533 by 533, which is perfect to what we want. So we want to try and make it a square because the emotes have to be square. And the same with the sub badges as well. So we'll paste that into here. So we've got the Skull Crusher logo here. For this emote, we're just going to make a simple GG emote. I'm going to put a GG down in the bottom right corner here. All right, so we want to add another image to this. So we'll go to Layers and we'll go to Import from File. Okay, so there's the GG that I just made earlier. And here it is. Let's make that a bit bigger. That's quite simple. That's a very simple emote that we're going to do. What we do then is going to merge that into the background. So it's the same image. So the same now as you can see here in layers. And it's 533 by 533, so the image is perfect. So we're going to save as skull emote GG. Save that. So what we're going to do, we've got the three sizes for the emote that we need for Twitch, which is 112 by 112 pixels, 56 by 56, and 28 by 28. We need to get this image down to that size. So what we're going to do, which is very simple again, I'm going to open a new tab. I've got it there already, I think. So it's an online image resize, are very easy. So it's just resizeimage.net. It's a free service, so it's very good. So we're going to upload Skull's image to it, which is Skull Emote GG. See there. So we're going to change, get down to here to resize your image. We're going to keep the aspect ratio. So we're going to make it go to 112 by 112. Make sure it's a PNG, but it should just be there automatically. And we'll resize the image here. And download image. So then we've got our 112 emote. So then we'll go back, do it again, 56. Resize that. Done. And again for the 28. So they're done, all that's left to do there is just to send them to him and he can upload that straight onto Twitch no problems at all without having to worry about resizing or anything like that. So we'll do his next emote now. So we'll go back into paint.net. We'll open, this one's going to be a bit different. So we're going to do an MP10, which is his favorite gun on Modern Warfare and we're going to add shots fired text to it. So what we're going to do so open the MP10. So as you see, you don't want the 03, the weapon, the MP10 sign, all that. We just want the gun. So we're going to try and crop that out straight away. Same as last time. Which leaves a bit in there, but we're going to delete that. So we'll copy again, Control C. Do a new template, which is not square, but we'll change that later. And then you got the gun there. So we want to get rid of obviously this bit here. So what we do is we'll get the rubber eraser, just make it whatever brush width, brush, brush width, and just get rid of that. 
what we also want to do is get rid of the white background. We just want it as the gun. So make it a transparent PNG. That's like the main guy. It's probably the hardest bit where most people would struggle. To select the whole image, we go to the paint can here. We'll go to more down in the colors. This opacity alpha will change that down to zero. And we've got white selected here, which is what we want because we want to get rid of the white. Go up to here where it's got normal. We change that to overwrite. On the flood mode down here, change it to global. All right, so I've got opacity down there, or however you say it, opacity. Overwrite, flood modes go global. We've got the paint selected. So just go like this, and it deletes all the white. So we'll do that again. So we've got the paint can. I'll paste it down here. White selected here. White is going to go to transparent because that's all the way down. So we want to get rid of the white. If you've got an image that has white in it already, in the middle, it makes it a lot harder to do that. If you kind of crop around it and then use the paint can, or you'll have to use the rubber and you'd have to zoom in like real close to make sure you can get the white out around there, if you know what I mean. All right, so we've got the white out, we've just got the gun there now, which is good as well. We're gonna add another layer, so we're gonna add the shots onto it. So it's probably, yeah. All right, so we probably should make that bigger. I will make it bigger when I send it to him. So you go shots. Make sure it's kind of the same thing there. We'll lower it on there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I stuffed that one up. So back to the shots, background. I need to select it all to move shots again. So I go to select here. So we still want to try and see the gun. So I might play around with this. So I select fired. Okay, I'm not actually happy with that <laughs> at the moment. So what we'll do is do delete shots and fired. So you want to see more of the gun, that's what I'm going for. What's it doing here? So I'm just going to undo everything we've done up until the gun. Alright, so we're going to make this a square emoji as it is at the moment. So we're going to copy that. Make a new one. So we'll do is 547 in width. So I'll make the height 547 as well, just so it's a square. We'll paste the gun in, put it like here, and we're going to put shots fired here. So what we're going to do, we need to get rid of that white background again. So I'll do it with the eraser just to show you the difference. So you want your left mouse button to be the eraser, so you'd flip this. You just do right button if you don't want to. And just go through and... Remove that background. Just being careful around the edges. So we'll just do it again, import the shots fired into here. So we want to kind of get it. I think that looks that looks better than the last one. If he wants to change it, obviously you can. So we'll just merge these together. So 
that's good. That's a square. So we got 547 by 547. We'll save that. Nice skull emote. Shots fired. Which is there. Then we'll go back to the image resizer. Twelve by hundred twelve. We want to do sub badges there, seventy two, thirty six, and eighteen. They're different sizes. He wants two emotes, so sub badges you make in the exact same way as you would make your emotes. Sorry if I drag it on a bit here. I just want to send him. I'll show you. Me sending him to him. So I got fifty six. So you want twenty eight. Download, all right. So we're gonna send these to him through Discord. There was nothing crook in our last conversation. If there is, I'll be cutting it. <laughs> all right. So they're in downloads, our resizes under web. So we'll just go here to here, select these. All right, so I've noticed an issue right up with the left-hand side. He's got a line down on the shots fired. So you can see that once you send it on Discord because it's got a different background, you can see where your issues are. So the Skullcrusher's GG has no issues there. The Shots Fire just has a white line down the end. So just go back. And because we're, we'll just get rid of the white. We'll save that. We will send it to him again. We're just going to send him the, the big emote now, just to, uh, before I resize him, just to make sure that it's all good. But still got white here. He seems to like it anyway. <laughs> All right, so as soon as we still got an issue, we'll just go into here. All right, you can kind of see if you look really close, there's still white there, so we're just gonna erase it. All right, we're on right click, aren't we? So there's a few little issues that you can come up with when making them. I'm a bit of an OCD man. You probably wouldn't even notice the white on most of it, but we just got to make sure it's perfect. All right, let's see how that goes. We'll send it to him again. <laughs> he doesn't mind him. I told him I was making him for this video, so we'll see how he goes. Okay, it's not letting me upload it to him. So it's still a little bit of white there. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. I'll do that off video. All right. So that is how you make sub badges and emotes. So it's quite simple, really. So I'll show you a few other. So behind me here, over my left shoulder, there's a few that I've done. These are sub badges. So this one's Cowboy, Cyber Miscreant, um, Cypher, Cypher, DDS, Plays, etc. 
And there's an emote that I made for Ed, which is um, a goat saying bad, uh, which is also quite good. So just saying, so I do make them for people as well. If you watch this video, you don't feel like you have the time or want to do them yourself. You can always DM me on Twitch, Discord, um, whatever. I do them very reasonably priced. So it's up to you. You can make them yourself using this video or you can ask me to make them for you. And as you can see, I'm not going to let a little white line come onto you. <laughs> Come on to your remote. But very reasonably priced, just DM me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it didn't drag on too long. I hope it was kind of informative. Um, drop questions below. I'm happy to answer them. I'm happy to do redo some of your remotes as well if you want them redone. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching.